Asteroid mining is the key to our future expansion into space. Planetary Resources is conducting the first commercial exploration of resources on near-Earth asteroids. The resource we're most interested in is water. Water, when you break it down into hydrogen and oxygen, is the elements of rocket fuel, which is currently the, the best way to get around the solar system. In much the same way that the economic activity on Earth is really about fossil fuels, in space, it'll be a water-based economy. The Earth's gravity well is so deep that the cost of bringing propellant from Earth to fuel that economy will eventually be prohibitive. You know, imagine trying to drive from New York to Los Angeles, and there's nowhere to fill up your gas tank along the way. That's the way it is today for anyone who wants to send something far out into space. You gotta take everything you want with you, including your fuel, and when you load up with all the gas that you need, there's really not room for anything else. Water is in every place we've looked in the solar system, from the planet Mercury all the way out to the ice mountains of Pluto. Using telescopes, you can get a sense of which asteroids contain water in the form of clay minerals. However, there's no substitution for sending a spacecraft there for detailed investigation and ultimately getting some of that material and actually liberating the water from the rock itself. And we do so with small, efficient, and cost-effective vehicles that can be launched in quantities. And our exploration mission launches several of these small spacecraft on a single launch vehicle and then spreads them out across the solar system. And instead of landing on the object, we fire a set of penetrators. They impact and embed into the asteroid and they acquire a sample that allows us to confirm that the water is present, and it allows us to understand a little bit about the bulk material that that water uh, exists within. If planetary resources gets to a near-Earth asteroid and they can verify that there's abundant water, that really opens up a whole new era of space exploration. They'll be able to process that material to liberate that water and then break it apart into hydrogen and oxygen, which is one of the most powerful rocket fuels that we know of. So you'll basically be developing gas stations in outer space to enable voyages beyond anything we can achieve right now. The United States passed a law in November of 2015 that explicitly said that U.S. companies can own the resources they remove and extract from asteroids. That law was the first of its kind in the world and was quickly followed two years later by Luxembourg, who passed a very similar law. We have governments and legal uh, regimes that embrace what we're trying to do and move us forward. And that's the important part of global engagement. It's engaging the globe to try to accomplish a mission that is much larger than any one of us. I think the vision of planetary resources is shared by millions of people around the world. We recognize that the next great frontier is outer space. Space has been a place of wonder, of scientific inquiry, and really learning about the world around us. Our children and our grandchildren are gonna know a world where space is just another place where we go to work, another place where we build our businesses. And the resources off the very accessible near-Earth asteroids really help do all that. It's where we begin on the inevitable expansion of humanity into space. <laughs>